Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's Excel loan calculator. This is a Microsoft Excel template that provides mortgage-related calculations. There are four calculation worksheets. I'm going to start by going over the first one that allows you to compare up to three different mortgage-related scenarios. I'm going to start by entering the loan amount. You can use different loan amounts. In my case, I'm going to keep them all the same. I'm going to use different interest rates. And I'm going to use different years. And once you fill in that information, the charts and the data below here automatically fill in. And basically, you can see that it compares the three different options. And it compares years to pay off, total interest, and monthly payment for each of those options. If you look here at option number three, the 10-year loan, the interest rate is the least over the life of the loan, but the it also has the highest monthly payment. You can also add to the criteria extra principal payments each month. I'm going to add those here. And the data will automatically adjust once you add that. And also you can adjust those extra principal payments using these scroll bars here. And you can see how the data adjusts as the amount changes. And there's also items highlighted in yellow that provides some additional information. Okay, so that's the mortgage comparison worksheet. The next worksheet I want to go over is the fixed extra payments. This provides a full amortization table. And it gives you the option of putting an extra monthly principal payment that is fixed every month. So in our case, let's try to add, let's add 500. And if um, you can also use these scroll bars to adjust the amounts of the extra principal payment. And you can use this scroll bar to adjust the length of the loan. I'm going to keep that at 30. So we have here an extra $700 um, each month and you can see that in this column that's where that is put. And you can see here that the full amortization table is provided. And up top here you have the charts that compare no extra payments versus extra principal payments if any were made. And the impact on years to pay off total interest and number of payments. The next um, worksheet is very similar to the prior one with one key exception and that is that it allows for variable extra principal payments. So it may not, in this case, for example, you can add 500 the first month, but maybe the next month you're not going to add any extra payments. Maybe the next month you're only going to do 250. Maybe the next month you're going to go back to 500. So this allows you to adjust the extra principal payment every month. I'm going to add um, some big amounts here so that we can see the impact on the charts here. So by adding those extra principal payments, you can see here that these charts here allow you to compare no extra principal payments with the extra principal payments and the difference between the two. And it shows the years to pay off, total interest, and number of payments. The final chart um, or worksheet allows you to compare or allows you to enter the loan amount, interest rate, years, and basically provides a full amortization table. And it just gives you two charts. It does not provide for extra principal payments.